sounds pretty nice. Very nice for that V8. So, bro, tell me about this McLaren GT. Cause you I know, know you know a lot about this one. It's one of your favorite cars. To be right honest, now. I did not care for this car when I first saw the launch spec of this car yeah. because of that brown. That brown that, was very ugly and it turned me off. 100%. But but now in this gray color, it looks so sick. Yeah. And you know what? I really like the black on this. Um, for this car, so this car is pretty much a mixture of the 720S as well as the 570 GT. So this car comes in a whole new series for McLaren. It does not compete with the 600 LT series. It does not compete with the 720S series. And it does not compete, of course, with the Senna and the Speedtail series. But I have a question for you before you cut to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does the GT stand for? It, it what, stands like, for what is it? Grand Tour. Like yeah, what okay. they're trying to do is make a, a supercar that you can take for long drives, that you can go for long cruises, go to the cottage, take to the cottage. And just have a good so, car that's not in other words aggressive and jerky. a good rally car because you know we love good, our rally yeah 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 <laughs> no face rally car you know that's what it of is. course of course but uh yeah let's go for a walk around and exactly. let's, let's check it out let's see what we like the black wheels right off the bat i really like the black wheels but what i found out after watching some videos is they're not as big as i thought it was i mean no, they don't look that big 21s in the back and 20s in the front Uh, we then go on to the interior. We'll get onto it more later. But interior is pretty much like just a regular McLaren style interior. Is that anything yeah, different I, about it? You know what? They have a different leather that they use now, and uh, the, the operating system Ooh. is different. So as you can see, get a quick glimpse of it before we sit down inside. The whole display is different. The screens are different. The operating system is different, and the multimedia is different as well. Same buttons, but the way that they're set up is totally different. And of course, you know making it different for a grand tour car so that you gotta be comfy comfortable when you're cruising guys yeah. gotta be comfy Go too bad you guys didn't see the shoe earlier man it was <laughs> snow all over it and then they cleaned it we wanted to do it but they didn't want to present the car with snow over it so it was a beautiful it's a beautiful it's experience it's good man it's a good experience let's talk about the back man the back is look really ooh, it looks really aggressive especially with the exhaust points this woo, this back it needs to grow on me i like it right now but it's gonna grow on me because the 720s I didn't like it at first, but it grew on me. The Senna didn't like it at first, but it grew on me. McLaren is a brand that you don't it's like never at liked. first. It's never but as soon as you see one in person, it just grows on you. I was so anti Senna, so anti, anti everything. everything. Anti McLaren. Sorry, Chris. So, but hey, they actually grow on you. They're doing a great job with the program, building so many cars by 2020. The cool thing about this light, I think they follow the style of the uh, the Senna and the 720. They're so thin. I'm not sure if you could get a, a, the right angle, but look how thin that is. Like my finger is thicker than that light, and so it's it's so cool. Carbon fiber plate cover, of course. That's by the dealership. And one cool wicked thing about this car is exhaust. They look they look normal like exhaust, but they're actually valve controlled. And as you see, the lights getting up. And the biggest thing about this car is the trunk. And there you go. This car is known for its trunk space. It's about 40 liters in ton space. So if you guys can see, you guys could put lots of storage. Like Marlon said, great for a rally. And then of course you got the button on top to close it, making it seamlessly effortless. Just get into your supercar and go. There's a whole new level of supercar guys. They're bringing the whole luxury scene the whole luxury scene to the supercar scene, but in more on a better Jurassic area. You have certain things where look at the space you can put here. You can put like two or three suitcases in there, a duffel bag, and still have space to put other stuff that you in there. Like I said earlier, I mean, I, I hated the brand that came with it, but this car is still pretty new. Not a lot of production models have been made yet, and nothing. You know, it's winter now, so not many of these on the road right now. Mm -hmm. The color is nice though. For a dealership car, I really like the spec. So I love the spec on this car, but for me, I would have to either go on the McLaren website and spec out my own car or we should do that wait. one day we should definitely do that one day just wait and see let's, as let's. more people get more colors so we're gonna me and dudes are gonna check this bad boy and we're gonna I'm gonna drive a seat he's gonna passenger and we're gonna enjoy this car and maybe you guys might enjoy it too let's check it out and we're not gonna damage anything oh my gosh it's actually pretty comfy it's actually pretty nice yeah, that's the whole point, right? Because it's, it's wow. a Grand Tour car. And honestly, like from being in the other McLarens we've been in, like the, this one is actually so comfy. We haven't done anything. This 
So, Dujan, I know you've been studying, and I, I honestly, I've been taking my notes. You're, you're, you're a good you. You're a student, so you already had that philosophy. For me, I just want to get in and go. <laughs> just take it first. So, what can we tell us some stuff about this car? Tell us some stuff in the interior that you know is completely different, or anything that you think that we should touch on, so that our, our followers can get a great idea of it. Yeah, for sure. Um, Martin, so, like I said, Mom, this is a Grand Tour car. So, what McLaren's idea is is to make this car as comfortable and as spacious and as enjoyable as it can be while maintaining a sports car kind of feel. Yeah. So the first thing that they did was the entire system on this car is totally different. So this this uh, the screen right here, screen display, completely different. The, the, the display right here, the way they set it up, completely different. Oh, yeah. The buttons are the same. Yeah. The same buttons, but that the way that they arranged it is different. And of cup course, holders too. Got exactly, holders. you got a cup holder here. Three, guys, we have three cup holders in a supercar. That is insane. You know what we should do? Three cup holders. The speed tail should have three because it has three seats. Oh, who tail. knows? Maybe if who the speed knows? tail doesn't have three, I'm gonna make it complete to me. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. And then you got like a little touch screen, a bar right here. You guys can't really see. It reminds me of um, the, the MacBook Pro, how it has a touch bar. Yeah. It seems very similar to that. So it has that same kind of style. I like it. And when you look up, it's blue. Ooh, wow, it's really blue. It's, it's panoramic, it's a glass roof, but for some reason it's blue right now. But I think you can change the color or Probably. something. It's hard to let those one of those new things there. Exactly. But uh, starting off, I mean, the camera can pick up, I don't know, maybe if you guys can, Let's but the color's that. on here. So right now it's blue. You go to ambience and change the colors. Put the brightness all the way up. And so, Guys, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if you guys around. can see it, but like, like yeah, like the colors changed in this in this little bar a over nice, here. A nice touch, a nice personal touch for for everybody. You know, it would be great at night. You know, what's the what's the? Oh, I guess that was the top so and the footwell would be like somewhere around yeah. here. And okay, so so one thing about me is whenever whenever we're going for long drives, I need stuff. Like I don't I don't want to carry stuff. In my yeah, pocket. exactly. So I want to put stuff everywhere. But so this for this McLaren GT, they don't they don't there's no like you know what I mean? No there's, there's, there's no storage compartment here. There's there's not really much. There's, there's a little there's a little space here where you can put like something in, but I'm not sure what you would put in. Yeah, they use all that's the only place they have to put stuff away is in the center console so I can open it. Yeah. And it's not very much. You about can put two or three cell about, phones. Like, in you know what? Like that's about it. Like just a bit a bit bigger than my iPhone. But one thing I notice is you I brought your cell phone, you can just stick your cell phone between here, but why not? Actually, actually, maybe that's actually designed for it because it doesn't yeah. have the space for it. So I think that's I mean, cool. I, I have an OtterBot, so it doesn't make it a bug. Well, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have my McLaren phone on me, so let's put that in there. Let me put the other iPhone in there. And it's, it's, maybe it's like a shield for your coffee, so it doesn't yeah, spill around where it burns really fast, right? Get coffee on your phone, not <laughs> I know. Nope. And then, yeah, so you got these little storage compartments, these little thought uh, holders kind of thing. I guess they really make up the storage for the cart in the back here. They probably incorporate yeah. it, but it's I not mean, like, like very ideal. It's direct access, right? I mean, you yeah. could be, you know, I eat a bag of chips, close it up, go on, and just put it right there. Maybe yeah, not. Yeah, it's as like messy. a little storage area right here, which is pretty cool too. It's I think convenient. it's convenient. Yeah, you can put certain stuff there, but nothing like you want to hide out of the way. Your ownership can only stay in here, and it's right. the only place you could put it because you don't want to keep it. There's not really open. anywhere else. There's nothing that pops open. I guess. Maybe the second generation that can incorporate more uh, space in the front. For so the, yeah, for, can... for, for, the, for the passenger as well, right? Yeah. Because I mean, I know the passenger's not going to have as much stuff as the driver, but but it's always it's always good to have more space and less space. Of course. And one thing that we can't forget to mention is a little storage space right about there. So that's yeah. Oh, you have that's out. all the storage. And so that kind of it looks like a little pocket in there. That's all your storage. That's all your storage for your side. So that's there. Nice talking car though. Yeah, it's very nice, but you know, what can you really put in there? Your, your tunies, your, your Tim's car, that's about it. Your change. Yeah, that's um, about it. This tub, so it's a so the same carbon fiber tub Yeah. as you know, as, as all the other players. Yeah. But uh, let's get into some of the, the specs and details about this car. So this car is about 620 horsepower. Woo. It's a twin turbocharged V8. Yes, that's nice. And so, like I said before, uh, the 570 GT had a bit of history with this car. It came from the 570 GT, mm -hmm. and then they built it on the 720 yes. frame. So there's a 720 is there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but again, the same frame, the same style, and they wanted to go from the sports to a more Grand Tour car, and this is what they have, the McLaren GT. Yeah. And so I think we should, we should kind of 
turn it on? I think so. You guys are, I think I think it's time for turn on. So why don't you guys go to the turn? Yeah, so where do we get this? Right. So there you go. That's non-active mode right now. Yeah, so we're like, this is the valve's code. Come over here, guys. So, so come on here, guys. So this button right here on the new display system, it says active. So it tells you right there on the screen that the exhaust is non-active. All you gotta do, press it, set back, and you can hear it open up. Wow, and that, the, the manual light that up. was awesome. So we're gonna rev it again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very nice sound. Oh, we have just this, but now they kind of put that here, and rather than go ahead and rev it for us, there you go. You see the meter going up, now it's pretty cool. Time. Very cool feature for the McLaren. So, they so, know what they're doing. So guys, that was our first show with Induj and co-hosting. I hope you guys liked it. I definitely liked it. You know, a little less for me, you can be a little lazy. <laughs> a little but... less work, more, more info. I got to do my research more often now. And that is it, the new McLaren GT. We're probably gonna see more of this car at the International Auto Show in about a few months. Yeah. I'm sure they're gonna have some, uh, maybe the gray spec, maybe a different spec. Maybe, maybe we can check out the other spec in the back. Just yeah, look we'll at take, it. we'll take a look at the other spec and I'm sure that we're definitely gonna see more of this car. I'm sure one of our buddies are really gonna of pick course. this up. It's a McLaren, a lot yeah. of guys would, would enjoy this car. Definitely what it is, and I can see and love the Asian community from yeah. here buying a ton of these, because the pump car yeah. is the best thing. It's the best thing, you know, oh, yeah. rallies, cruises, and you get your sports. And oh, the yeah. exhaust is nice too, so. Okay guys, well, I just wanna say thanks to Chris. Big Thank shout you Chris, Chris Green. Thank Big you shop. Clash McLaren. And also guys, Check out the cars of gear. It's coming out. It's already out. You guys need to get it. Get it. Check it out. I like, I like hey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a great day. Thank you for everything. Peace. See you.